Hey, how's it going, guys? Well, I don't know, some of you guys know it. I've been kind of laid up here because of my back. Slipped uh, a disc a couple weeks ago, so it's been pretty bad, pretty stiff, hurt pretty good. It's so just kind of been laying down, taking it easy, and uh, preparing for this trip to uh, Gold Camp with the fellas. And we're building, well, I'm building this ultimate, ultimate sluice. Because we're not allowed to have anything electrical, nothing, uh, no mechanical operations up there. No gas, no electric. Only thing we can have is a hand shovel and a uh, river sluice. And use the, the motion of the water in the creek to process our gold and clean our rocks for us. As I like to say, I'm a professional rock cleaner. And, uh, so, you know, people ask what we're doing down the river. I tell them I'm down there washing rocks, and they laugh at me. But serious, you know, we're washing rocks, looking for gold. But, uh, yeah, so anyways, guys are like, you know, we need something that we're not going to lose our gold when we go down there. We want to get everything we get down there. There's good gold down there. So let's go all go down there, and we're going to catch it all. So I'm trying to design something that we have 100% capture rate. And some say it's nearly impossible to do because, which I kind of think, you know, it's almost nearly impossible to catch 100% of your gold. Because that, that flower gold, it's it's flat. And when it hits that water and that, that, that surface tension, you know, it, uh, it'll float and it gets carried away in the... Uh, turbulence of the water so it's hard it's hard to catch something that don't want to be caught and uh defies all laws of gravity etc so we're gonna do it we're gonna make something and we're gonna we're gonna catch it and um my first bad boy is the remake well as you can see there's a couple little air bubbles here and there but i put some it's more like a U matting than a V matting, but I filled that header box, the header of the sluice box on the old keen. So now I got that keen ready to go, and uh, we're like, man, we need an extension. And what kind of extension? So I already have an extension for my high banker and we're gonna incorporate that into the design, into the build. So we go from the big regular Keen 852 and we're gonna narrow it down to about a seven inch, I'm guessing, seven inch belly is what I'm gonna call her. And that is gonna be our clean up. Ooh, the back's a little sore. In the center of our keen at the top with the riffles. And at the bottom, there's gonna be the extension with gold hog mats. I'll have a picture in there. I'm gonna a little video. Show you all what we got going and see how it works. We're gonna go catch some gold. Hey, if it's too long, you know, I'm going to bring some snips with me and uh, we'll just cut her down. But we're going to see how she goes. Uh, we'll be out there probably Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon, hopefully at the latest, coming down from Wyoming. So uh, into Denver on Monday. So we'll see. We'll see when we get there and we'll check in and just keep keep posted keep informed hit that uh that notification button on top there so you know every time i make a video what we're out there doing you get notified so you can see what we're doing and you don't lose on out on uh you don't lose out on the uh monthly monthly gold giveaways and the drawings etc so make sure you get on there and you like subscribe and hit that notification button so you know when i put in my my uh my uploading of my videos so yeah hope to see you
heavy pans wish us luck let me know in the comments what you think of uh think of the sluice and what should we name her if you go over my uh, facebook page and scars prospecting you can see there's a a uh, post about the name of the sluice box and how to win whatnot and uh if you can think of a name for her go ahead and uh comment on there and So, here's some ripples I have. It's the width, depth, and bam, we have a 10 foot sluice box. Just gotta put the last bend on this bad boy and then fill in the riffles this is for this weekend all we're allowed is a uh, river sluice where we're going so we'll see how good this thing performs all right now I read your comment but I just got everything cut got the v-mat in there almost I got glued in be matting there all the way down and then the water gets speed and then bam, then we got our gold hog mats.